So this is a chart right now on BTC. And um, as you can see, guys, I need you to pay attention to the right. You can also learn something from this. I need you to pay attention to the far right side of this chart of the book, um, of the book map. Do you see there's a shoot off here of red? Mm -hmm. Do you see? This is all volume. Green is buying volume. It's how many people are trying to buy. Even the blobs here on the screen. Green blocks, people buying. Red blocks, blobs, people selling. Mm -hmm. So you can see here at $100,000, there's 1,200 Bitcoins being sold. So you can see there's a big red line here, right? The intensity is real. Yeah. So it means that the moment Bitcoin gets closer to that, it's being sold. So even if it hits 100K, we need to buy all this. We need to have enough demand to buy all this 1,200 Bitcoin and keep on going, I see. which is very difficult to do. So every time it gets close to that number, it's going to get sold off and it goes down. This graph is just about Bitcoin. Yeah, this is purely okay. just Bitcoin. Okay, yes. okay, I see. Because Bitcoin is the leader. You know, the market follows what Bitcoin does. I see, okay. So Bitcoin is going to struggle a little bit to hit that 100K because, or even if it does, we're more likely going to crash in and then we might even dip because people will be in a competition of selling. I want to sell at 100K. Yeah. So it hits 100K. They start selling. You, you, and you see 100,000. Oh, your order has gone through. But now it's 99,900. Yeah. You'll be like, oh, but that's close enough. Then you change your order to sell at 99. Yeah, yeah. Everybody starts lowering their orders. So wait, do you think that when he, after it hits 100,000, we're going to dip? Yeah, very, very likely that we're going to have a big dip. Very likely. It's, I mean, 100K is a very strong psychological number that, when it happens, everybody want to mm. sell because you want to feel like sell Bitcoin at 100K. Mm. So as much as it's exciting, it's also very concerning mm. that we it could lead us into a little bit of a downturn. I would prefer that it doesn't hit it, actually, if you ask me. Mm. I would prefer it to just be here. Okay. Even if it crash and it will go to 92K, I'm happy. Okay. 100K, it's a very, very, very dangerous territory right now. Even though, even if we dump, we're gonna get it's gonna get sucked up. But do you, do you think people are scared that um, like they are selling in um they are selling now because they're scared that you know the same that happened in 2021 is gonna happen again that they made all of those money and then they lost them overnight because uh, it went down so fast. So everyone now is like more cautious about it. Well, there's there's part of it. Um. My fifty dollar is in that. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Rage official says my fifty dollar is in that twenty three uh, twelve zero three because he is also has a sell order at a hundred. Because it's everybody. I get it. Except get for it. me, I, I never sell my Bitcoin. I get it. But a lot of people do because you're a great BTC. BTC. Exactly. So we got that hundred k problem there, and um, but the interesting thing is even this. If you look at this chart, Bitcoin's dominance. Right. So I see a little bit of chaos in the chat. People are like, should we sell because of that? Are we all scared because of that? I don't ever think that anybody should sell Bitcoin. We'll, we'll talk about that just now. So I just want to show you guys this as well, because it's very, very important. This is Bitcoin's dominance. Again, you know, against like the, the rest of the Bitcoin market within. Right. And what will happen here very likely after the 100K, Bitcoin's dominance might start clambering down and it could go down all the way to like uh from 58 i would say the lowest 57 so what's more likely going to happen 57 no 57 percent oh. right now it's at 60.5 percent 60.5 percent it means majority of the cryptocurrency market cap which is now 3.4 trillion dollars is more mostly tilted into btc and at the moment, a lot of people, will, they will start selling their Bitcoin and then there'll be people looking for gains in altcoins. So we should expect altcoins to start pumping up very, very soon. An altcoin season, a Bitcoin rotation is going to happen because if you look at this chart, you can see that it really looks tired. Bitcoin just trying to make its 100K top and then the market can relax for a little bit. But before we get there, we might get consolidated. However, if you're going to speculate the market too much, think that the obvious is going to happen, sometimes you're surprised. So even BTC, if it hits 100K, you might get a, a, a bigger pump, a green candle going to like 103,000 to liquidate everybody who is short at the, um, at the level that I showed you. And then 
it starts going up again. So I would say right now is the best time to just not really sell your Bitcoin, but don't use leverage too much. You can start, you can short at a hundred K so that if it hits hundred K and uh, crash down, you get a little bit of money into that trade. But don't do anything too crazy because we don't know what's going to happen when we hit 100K. More likely in the next few hours, we're going to hit that level. But still, you never know what's going to happen.